If you're going to build spreadsheets, at some point in time you will have a need to count cells. Today I want to show you four functions that allow you to do that. So in the first scenario, we have a need to count numbers only. So let's come down here to our blue cell, our first blue cell, and let's enter equals count, open parentheses, and we'll drag across our range, close parentheses, enter. And this tells us that there are six cells in this 10 cell range that contain numeric values. Okay, let's do something here. Let's make this like perfect. Okay, next, what if we want to count blank uh, cells that are not blank? To do that, we say equals count A, count A, open parentheses, drag across the range, close parentheses, four. We have four cells that are not blank. Well, we also have the ability to count blank cells. Equals count blank, open parentheses, drag across the range, close parentheses. And you're saying, wait a second, Shane. We can count blank, we can count not blanks, we can count blanks. Why can't we count cells that are not numbers? That's a very good question. Excel does not give us a direct function to do that. But using these two functions that we've just learned, we can combine those. For example, we can come down here to this cell and we can say equals, let's first of all count everything, count A, open parentheses, let's drag across our range, close parentheses, minus count, which is just numeric only drag across the range, close parentheses, enter. So this gives us the total count minus the numbers only, and of course the result of that is non-numeric cells. So that's a real quick way to find out, to get a count of cells that are not numbers. Okay, our final count function is the count if function. This allows us to count cells based on a criteria. And I'm going to give you three examples of this one. The first is going to say Let's count if, open parentheses, drag across the range, comma, and now I'm just looking for the value of 62. So I type in 62, close, parentheses, enter, and we do have one cell that contains the value of 62. Our second example equals count if, open parentheses, drag across our range, comma, now I want to search for text and I want to search for apples but because this is text I'm going to have to enter quotation marks apples close quotation close parentheses enter and sure enough we do have two cells in our range that contains the word apples and finally we have another set of criteria we can say equals count if and let's drag across the same range one more time, comma, greater than 18, close parentheses. And watch what happens. We get an error message saying there is a problem with this formula. Well, the problem is, is that the criteria has to be surrounded in quotes in order for this to be accepted. So if I put quotes around the greater than 18, press enter, then we indeed get a count of numbers that are greater than 18. 24, 62, and 29. Notice that it ignored 18 because our function says greater than 18. Had I chose to say greater than or equal to 18 and press enter, you would see our count go up by one because it now does indeed include 18. Guys, there's four quick functions on how to count things and Excel and most other spreadsheets. Thanks for watching.